uh, example to see how uh, can we how we can uh, convert a high level language code into three address code using syntax structure translation so here we have a sample uh, high level code which is actually if else statement and the this if block has further a nested if statement so we start from this starting production p goes to s p goes to s and then from this s we have to produce this if uh, this if boolean s1 else s2 if boolean this s1 else s2 so we write this production here from this boolean we have to produce this boolean that is uh, the composition of two booleans actually this production so this b goes to b or b and the left b is actually x less than 10 and the right b is actually this one and this s1 is actually further uh, other if we can we have this production for this so from this s we drive if boolean s and boolean is x greater than 10 and s is x kid equal to 1 and the second s s2 is actually this x is equal to x plus 1 so now we have uh, drawn a tree for this code using these context free grammars now we have to traverse this tree to produce the uh, three address code using syntax director translation so we start from here and he actually we have to produce a code for this s and this s is actually this production and then from this s we will move that code to this p variable and th the code for this production s is actually this is this code s code is actually b dot code and b dot code b here means this whole uh, boolean expression this one and which is actually p or b this one so we first of all we write this b code and this b is code is b one code b one is code we can find this code from these jumps it says if b one is true then b would be true so we write here b one is here x plus and ten if b one is true then actually b is true and b true means we come here check if p is true we will create a new label so we write create a new label and we will go to that label go to b dot true for the sake of simplicity we we can have then any name of for this label but now for the sake of simplicity we just called it b dot true so uh, but if p1 is false then we will again create a new label and we will call it b1 label b1 false so go to b1 dot false so we have written this b1 code next we will write a label b1 dot false that we just created here so we write b1 dot false and again we write b2 dot code and it says if b2 is true then b is true b2 is x while greater than 10, 20 so if b2 is true then go to b dot true and b dot true here means a new label b dot true else if b2 is false then actually p is false and p false here means is a new label so else go to p false b dot false label so we have written this b's code from this line next we have to write this label b dot true we wrote, write, wrote this label b dot true and next we write the code for s1 and s1 is actually this nested if boolean s this one so s s1 code is actually this one this code b code and b here means if b is true we will create a new label if b is true b is here x greater than 10 if b is true we will create a new label go to because we already have a label with b dot true so we and uh, have a different name for it that is inner b dot true and uh, else if b is false then we will go to s dot next so else 
go to s dot next so uh, this b score has been written next we write the label b dot true that we created here and it was inner b dot true so we wrote this label here and next we write s1 dot code and s1 is here actually uh, this one it is x is equal to 1 so we write this x equal to 1 so now we have written code that at till this point next we write gen print uh, or generate go to s dot next right here go to s dot next and next we write the label b false we write the label b false and then we write the code for s2 and that is x is equal to x plus 1 that is s equal to x plus 1 so this is the code for s and uh, when we come here uh, for at yeah, this reduction we say that we will write this code uh, that we will create a new label s dot next and uh, b code will be actually s code s code is actually this one code till th at this this point and next we will create that uh, write that table that we just created here that is s dot next so write this table here so this is the translation of a sample high level code into three code using context free grammar and semantic rules.